global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. The former governor of Imo State, who drew PDP under the boss after he sent in his resignation letter, which was addressed to the PDP chairman in Butu Ward, above the local government area of Imo State, has decided to leave Nigerians with so much confusion about a, the next political destination for himself. Don't forget that he had been in the party for PDP from inception in 19. 99 or 1998 and uh, has enjoyed a long stay there before he became the governor of Imo State. But we know that being a governor of Imo State, it didn't take him so long. The 29th of uh, uh, May 2019 was when he found himself there. But by January, precisely 14, he was kicked out. 2020, he was kicked out of office. Since then, it has been from pillar to post for him. So, after a while, he, he, this few days ago, he made Nigerians understand that he had decided to take a walk out of the party. According to him, he says that it's because of the variance of the part the party is following and that is no more aligning with his personal belief. And he said, despite the fact that he has offered counsel, the party is sadly no longer able to carry out internal reforms or enforce its own rules or offer credible opposition to the ruling or progressive Congress. And that in the light of the foregoing that he had been compelled to offer his uh, resignation from the People's Democratic Party. But today, he had shown Nigerians that his next political destination may likely be Labour Party. Now, he didn't say that, but uh, after quitting uh, PDP, he made a very strong statement today in his one of his uh, social media platforms where he made Nigerians to know that he had paid a visit to the Labour Party uh, governor that's in Abia State, talking about Alex Oti. According to his uh, write-up, this very early this morning, he said that, that he was delighted to have met with the esteemed brother and friend governor at Alex Oti, OFR, at his residence in Isialangwa. He had a convivial discussion, even as I commended his giant stride in Imo State. Those were the words... He said, and I must say that Nigerians have been reacting ever since that statement hit his uh, social media uh, account. And But one of the things Nigerians seems to be so bothered about is what he did for the six months he had to stay as the governor of Imo State. Was that kind of character in sync with the belief of Labour Party? That's uh, one of those questions that Nigerians are asking. Him. Some are telling him, Oga, uh, you better start moving immediately to a Labour Party because that's the only party that will be able to kick out APC from um, Imo State. Other people have already tacked him, the 2028 Labour Party governorship candidate. But then, looking at the situation of things in um, Labour Party, do you think that uh, he will be the favorite if he decides to take a walk to? Labour Party. Most people also seems not to align with him. Someone had to recall back what happened when he was in power because when uh, Uzodima came on board as the governor of uh, Imo State, the man started bringing up a lot of things which was Nigerians were not happy about, especially Imo Light. And someone here says, one Jasper, Steve said, Mr. Hedio, how you should be ashamed. You failed to deliver like OT rather than siphon like Rocha Sokorocha, only OT and Obi are the safe face in Igbo politics today after the demise of Ezekwe, Okbara, and Sam Mbakwe. Good name is better than all the trillions you guys are taking away from the state. Another one says, another person here says, in all you do, try your best to be a member of the Labour Party. Don't waste about it. Don't waste them about it. We will. We are willing to vote you in 
in Imo State come 2027, you were not in the race. That's why Obudanima was able to manipulate Imo State election successfully. If you join PDP or APC, you are finished. That's all I can say. Hmm. Some people are of the opinion that he was the Imo light, which was short lived because of judiciary and uh, there seems to be lambasting the judiciary. Now that he has left something in the political space for Nigerians to talk about, what's your position on this? Let's just discuss this in our comment section. Do you think that uh, Emeka Ihedioha will be the next um, senior man in uh, the Labour Party or do you think that the issues going on will not permit him to do all that? Let's be done.